Hello guys, this is Ainge Taino from Sniper X for X Empire. It's here another opportunity for us to learn the sniper way of trading, right? So before we get into the lesson, guys, remember to like, share, and subscribe the channel, right? Also remember to leave a comment in the comment section below. Okay, guys. Uh, so this concept of the D1 time frame, I'm going to explain it, right? It's just basically, it's basically uh, based on uh, on momentum, market momentum, right? And what we call weak feeling, right? Um, if you're in a downtrend like this, all we expect on the daily time frame, right, to eat easily, you just have to follow what's there on the down downtrend like this, right? Also, you should be following the structure that is there. You know, you should uh, consider your PMS uh order blocks etc right but let's just go to the concept d1 i understand all the other concepts we understood them very well right so i was sending this example in the group right so i thought i should just explain it on a video so that everyone understands it and knows how to trade this uh with this concept right so the first uh example that i gave you it was with this candlestick right if you look at this structure where these lows prices bouncing at these lows right then you got a bullish candlestick right introducing bullish momentum there right so number one this candlestick closed bullish so if it closes bullish it means the following day there is going to be bullish momentum in but start with the rejection but at the end of the day we should close bullish right we're riding on the previous day's momentum right so the first thing we mark that i right also allow me to mark that very candle so that we know where exactly we are standing right with that vertical line right so let's go straight to that point and see what was happening there so from d1 i encourage you to go to at least h1 right from d1 you go to your h1 so on your h1 you're going to analyze just structure that, that is there right so on h1 you realize that uh price broke this high right it went on to break this high right after that it left an order block that was there right so now we are going to use this order block right knowing that our d1 closed bullish right so only wait for a corrective move applying those concepts pms um imbalance liquidity and everything right then we we'll trade our structure now right and we trust this because it, it is being backed up by the higher time frame that is the what the d1 time frame right so we're going to take our buys on this very spot and it's going to be what to be easy that is the first day right done let's go to the following day right so the following day that is uh, yesterday it also closed bullish right there right this is where it closed bullish and on closing bullish it left a week right at the top so the understanding is all these weeks that are left in that trend has to be closed that's what we call weak feeling right i said i'm going to uh explain with this concept as well so this small week that is there it has to be filled meaning prices to push upwards right but before it pushes up it's also going to uh retrace into this order block maybe there's some imbalance closing that imbalance then you continue with the what with the bullish trend so from d1 like i said we we just have to mark that very what that very candle so that we know where we are focusing on right on this analysis right so now let me go to h1 so i go to h1 right so on h1 right i'm seeing clearly that my day closed bullish like this right my day closed bullish like this so if it's closed bullish like this so what i was going to do right at 2 a.m this is 2 a.m my price was here right so i was just going to look to the left so to the left now i try to spot my zones where price might actually bounce on right so on this very day you actually realize that there was an order block here right then considering the concept of premium and discount that i explained uh on the youtube video right almost for everyone price was already below the 50 percent that is the discount price so it's a best zone for buys right so this order block will consider either this order block or that order block right will consider it but unfortunately my price didn't actually uh get into the zone right so how will actually treat this uh, very opportunity right listen attentively we are going to apply almost the same concept that we are applying right so whenever our price comes into this order block, we're not just going to be buying right we're on h1 wait for at least one h1 candlestick to close bullish then we start looking for ourselves like in this case right we are using the same concept that we just use on the d1 so we're being bearish right so now you wait for this candlestick to close right from the previous lessons we said you wait for one two three candlestick then you jump 
in here right that is another confirmation right but another early confirmation might be this one so now after this candlestick close bullish right we're just going to do what we're doing on the day one time frame right so now you step to other lower time frames and i encourage either m15 or m5 let's start with m15 so from here let's go to m15 remember i have placed a vertical line there so i have placed a vertical line so from this vertical line you see that my price was also creating what a high year right price actually closed above this point meaning that it's a high high that is being created there and price is now retesting this level right maybe if you look on the m5 it will be a little bit uh, clearer there right this is today guys this is what was happening today right we're trying to understand the structure there so price is closed above this high right so the best order block that we can actually use the one at the very bottom right but in this case m15 was going to do us good so this very order block right so now we created that high then price retested this order block and now we can actually take our buys from this spot if you want to do a further analysis once price gets into this order block you are not going to change right there you wait as well for one candlestick that is going to close bullish right that is you might actually wait for this a uh, very candlestick close the bullish so for m15 you can actually go to m1 and try to spot an entry after that so if you go to m1 you actually realize that my price uh, did this so after that this is the vertical line that we've placed right so after that our price closed bullish so this high you can actually see it created another high there that is structure there pms corrective move impulse corrective and the very order block that we can use there was a small gml that was there you can actually use this one or just using that high right fortunately price didn't get there but you'll be knowing that around these regions you get your spikes and fortunately our price actually started to spike from this one so if you had done the whole procedure from t1 all the way to m1 maybe you'll have gotten a sniper in there right if you're afraid you wait again after one candlestick spike then you start joining in your train like that right then you put your stops just below that so this is the d1 concept that i always talk about make sure you understand it and i hope you understand it let me take another example that we can use this v75 is that i actually want to take a trade today let's look at how it is right so here's v75 s so what i did i was on the d1 time frame right so on my daily time frame oh allow me to remove everything that i have there so on my daily time frame my market actually closed uh, with the bearish candlestick though this one is very very risky why because there is some imbalance that price might try to close right there but allow me to just explain you this one right so this candlestick closed bearish right the best is waiting for two candlesticks at least two candlesticks like we explained on previous concept one bearish today closes bearish then we start the game right but at times you might actually get the entries there so one bearish like this let's see how we can actually try to get in a trade from there so if you go to h1 now you are now looking at the structure so on h1 you actually see that price created a bms there after a bms you look back there is an order block there so now price is retracing into an order block because previous days t1 was bearish we can based on that momentum and enjoy that what that sell trade but for me to end i remember what i've just said i'm not just going to jump in right there right i'm going to wait for the next bearish candle at least h1 is to offer me a bearish candle a bearish candle then i'll jump from h1 to m15 apply the same concept and trade okay guys uh allow me to correct something there is a mistake that i actually made uh if you look at this candlestick right if you look at this candlestick structure this is what we call a three bar play right this is what we call a three by three bar play whereby uh this first candle sorry whereby you get a bearish candle in terms of a bearish trend you get a bearish candle then a bullish candle right whose body is almost at the same level with this bearish candle right but this uh great blue candlestick right is at the lower 50 percent of this red candlestick right so for it to be a three bar play we have to get the third candlestick as a bearish candle that will engulf this candlestick right so it engulfing this very candlestick which it will mean that uh we've taken the trade volume that was here right it's confirming a sell trade so it comes as a confirmation for a continuation pattern or for this sell trade meaning that after this the close of this candlestick we can actually, we can actually sell into the market so this type of entries we actually call them impulse entries right whereby you just joining into the market as it slides right so this is the three bar um three bar play right 
Okay, then the other one, which I had confused with that one, right, on my explanation, is this uh, structure for our confirmation. This is just one, two, three candlestick. No specific name of this one. We just said when we are confirming our M's and W's and other things, uh, we just consider one, two, three candlestick. We want to see the bearish move, then two candlestick that will confirm one, two, confirming our entry at the close of this very entry of this very candlestick sorry we take our sell trades right so this is just a concept of three bars right it's not the three bar play this is three bar play hope that is uh so clear to you right okay thank you for that let's uh just do one last uh, example on what we're doing right on weak fuels right so he's saying on weak fuels uh, i'll explain with two examples the first one is this one let's look at what was happening here already we had a three bar play here right and already we're in a downtrend this candlestick closed well we are bearish right we want to trade the following day on this very candlestick so let's put a horizontal line there so our market is closing bearish like that right we want to see how we can actually join into the market right how we can actually feel this week right so what we are calling a weak feel right is this one right so on the following day we are trying to trade and target this week this week has to be closed right so what we do now let's go to our h1 let's just uh, put a vertical line there then we go to our h1 so that we will spot uh, where we are analyzing right okay so if we go to our h1 okay that's the spot there okay so on our h1 we we'll actually realize that our price was creating lows right this is a bms right okay remember this is our target range i placed this one as our target range okay so we had a bms there we had a bms here right and price is creating this low with a bms here right then if you look to your left you will actually realize that there was an order block there right so that week is going to be covered or that very day candlestick is going to close as a bearish candlestick but as the day ends price is going to correct so that week that was left it was just a corrective move into the next day so two after 2 a.m on the following day now we are taking our trades there we pick our trades from that zone we look for our confirmation one two three the best entry is now coming on this very what on this very spot this is now a confirmed setup and you can actually slide in the what in the market right you can also use volume with just that one bar or on the lower time frames right and you can actually what trade right so this is an example of weak view right let me take one last example and we conclude on this lecture right so let's look at uh, a setup that i was actually looking at today i actually missed this one right but i was looking at it as it was actually working out right i was only late to do my analysis so let's look at this bar it closed bearish right the previous day was bearish this day was bearish and we can actually see prices moving like that okay so this is where we were right price closed bearish there and we have this week so it means our price today has to at least close this week since we are in what since we are in a downtrend right so price is to move down and close that region right so let's look at the setup and how we'll actually end up there so we just move to our h1 and on our h1 now we are looking at our structure right remember this is our target prices to close all this right so if you look at a simple structure that is there on lower time frames you see that there was a clear bms there right so the day closed with a corrective move like that right after 2 a.m two three four five six seven around eight you'll get a confirmation and enter then this is the extreme order block that we will actually use right so we're seeing this extreme order block this was a corrective move from the previous day then you will actually take a sell with confidence targeting this a uh, very low right so this one i actually missed this trade but i should have ended right so for your entries like i've said you are now in that zone you look at lower time frames and try to get a confirmation there right so looking at this uh various zone uh let's look at m15 i think looking at m15 you will actually see a structure there right price was failing to break this low finally they broke these lows then they corrected with this move and people will have gotten what sell entries there one two three candlesticks the best sales were going to be on this very spot if you had missed if you have missed this uh, very spot for a sell it means you're also going to use this three bar play like i have explained right one two three this one is confirming right impulsive entry you're just entering because there is a three bar play that is so clear there right this is another confirmation that we can also use that i explained 
uh, earlier on in other lessons there. So this is one, two, three. You can look at the bodies of this candlestick almost on the same level, right? Then the third one is coming to engulf, right? Then we are taking our entries there. Or you can even step up to other lower time frames and you can trade this uh, setup like that, right? Also on M30, you will actually see clearly that after this break break of this level, we are talking about volumes. Price close below these volumes, confirming that sell. Volumes are explained on the uh, video that I just uh, labeled D1, the previous video, right? You will actually see that price really tested this order block, right? So price just moved and tapped that order block. So after this tap on the M30 order block, we are just looking for entries, right? So we should be swimming in this cell for today, right? So that's the concept, right? On weak fuels and everything. Hope everyone actually understood that. On Crash 1000 today, Crash 500 today, I'm not taking these cells, right? Though we should uh, be in sales, but I'm not taking these cells. I'm waiting for this D1 close. Then tomorrow I will be trading this one, right? Though I was looking at the weekly chart, on the weekly chart, we close bearish, we close bearish, so it means this week has to close bearish, right? So this trade is a nice trade to trade on this week, crash 500, so I'm just waiting for my D1, at least my D1 closes bearish, I'll wait for the week that will have been formed there to be filled, right? If you move to H1, you actually see what's happening, how they will actually form a week. So you can see that there was a BMS there, right? So if there is need of a retracement back to this order block, confirming that, then we'll actually sell. So this retracement will actually cause that week that will have to be filled on the daily time frame. So I can't be in the market because there is no confirmation yet. I didn't get any confirmation according to H1. I'm just waiting. After this PMS price will retrace back into this order block, then I'll be taking my trade most likely from tomorrow. So thank you guys. Hope you actually understood this uh, video.